Hello, I am Adela. I am 30 years old. I'm from Romania. I'm a pharmacist. I'm Freddie. I'm 23. I'm French and English. I just finished a master's in international development. What is it that these two have in common? They're both trainees or stagiaires in the European Parliament. To get here, they first had to fill in an application online. There are Schumann scholarships for university graduates, a general and journalism option, translation traineeships. There are placements for young people just out of secondary school. All of them are offered to people with disabilities. I'm dual national, uh, two countries in Europe, and I really wanted to experience the Brussels EU experience and really grasp what it means to be European and uh, to work in the EU. Um, so I think that those are my main motivations to, to really explore uh, what it means to, to be European. In addition to describing their motivation, candidates must indicate their language skills and education and choose two services or directorates general of the parliament where they would like to work. I've chosen the DG for internal policies and also the DG for parliamentary research service because they both deal with health policies, the field that I'm interested in. Adela applied in August, Freddie in October. A bit of patience, a lot of patience, and they finally received an answer in December and January. They were selected. Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every year, 25,000 people try their luck, but only 600 make it. By early March, they've arrived here in the Parliament. They have five months to discover what it's like on the inside either from March to July or from October to February. There are two periods for making an application, from the 15th of August until the 15th of October and from the 15th of March until the 15th of May. After a welcome by their supervisor, they immediately get down to work in their service. But what would an ideal trainee be like? C'est quelqu'un qui doit être avant tout euh, polyvalent. Euh, il y a un grand sens de, de l'initiative et qui peut travailler facilement en équipe. Je crois que ce sont les, les trois qualités requises. So, uh, in the Information Campaigns Unit, I work on the Lux Film Prize, which is the European Parliament Cinema Prize. So, I've had the good fortune of being elected president of the European Parliament Stagiaires Association, where I coordinate the careers, communications and uh, social boards. Um, and I'm also very lucky to be in a room full of stagiaires, and among them we have many units from Europal TV, to web communications and events and exhibitions. And um, it's just a great atmosphere. I'm working at the European Parliament uh, Research Service, a directorate uh, which is concerned uh, uh, with uh, requests from the European Parliament uh, members for information, for analysis, for research on uh, different uh, policy areas covered by the European Union. Here I bring my contribution uh, in uh, the field of health policies uh, which is related with my uh, professional background as I am a pharmacist. But a traineeship carries no guarantees for the future. In order to get a job with the EU institutions, they'd still have to pass a competition, just like everyone else. A traineeship in the Parliament also means partaking in the pleasures of the EU bubble. Every Thursday evening, the Place du Luxembourg in front of the Parliament is the place to be for trainees and their new colleagues. We find Adela, Freddie and friends there. They're all paid the same, €1,226 per month. I personally didn't have to delve into personal funds. The, the traineeship money was pretty, pretty sufficient to, to get me through. So, uh, good luck. Ready?